second. Mm. And um, if you haven't put any thought into what to get dad, I can tell you as a dad, and I can tell you these guys as dads can tell you, please put some thought into it, right? I can't stand another tie, although, you know, especially it'd be okay if they were good looking ties, but they're not a lot of times, right? Or a pair of socks because I'm out of socks or whatever. So today we're going to talk about tech gifts you can get dad, things that dads like. And so since we're tech guys here on the show and we're dads here on the show, we're going to give you some of our our faves to uh, to kind of ponder on. And the good news is it's only Wednesday, right, guys? We can still make it for Amazon for Saturday, you know? <laughs> So it may be sooner. But before we get started on that, uh, welcome to the reboot. Uh, I'm Jim Gass, and we are business owners and here to help you reconsider the various things in your business, like bad ties for dad, right? Um, <laughs> to improve your business uh, to in, in any area, technology. We like to do fun topics like this. So today we're going to talk about how to improve getting gifts for your dad. By the way, We'll do a Mother's Day show next year on a very similar topic. So uh, I'm joined today. I, like I said, I am Jim Gast with Splice and Consulting here in Cincinnati. And on my right over there, we've got Brandon Bowers with Zentech Data Systems working out of my uh, warehouse <laughs> today. And also, I want to make a comment. Why is it, not to go off on a little rant here, but Mother's Day always gets the spotlight to Father's Day. I feel like we're so overshadowed by Mother's Day. So much time and effort and, you know, marketing and everything you see. What, what about the dads? What's going on with the dads? Come on. Right, right. We're representing the day. I'm, I'm going to have to disagree word. with you, Brandon. You're going to disagree? Because I want to stay married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My wife isn't going to watch this today, so be quiet. <clears throat> Well, it's okay. She should watch this because this is about buying you a gift, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, mom, moms, get, moms get all the attention, you know, in my opinion, as they deserve, right? You know, they do the delivery. The guys just stand back there and like, <laughs> That's you true. know, so yeah, they actually do a lot for raising the kids. Yeah, a lot more than I did. So Dave, Dave, you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, Dave Luft with LDD Consulting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I'm Dave Groot with Windstar Technologies out of Culpeper, Virginia. And, and I got to say, yeah. while we're talking about Mother's Day for a second, you know, uh, I made the serious mistake on my wife's, or, uh, you know, one of the third or fourth Mother's Day of thinking that what mothers wanted on Mother's Day was to spend the day with their children. <laughs> and so a buddy of mine and I went fishing and we left all of our kids with his wife and my wife at the house. And they were upset about that. And I didn't understand. I, I thought I was giving them what they wanted as mothers, right? But yeah. I learned, I learned a long time ago, my go-to is uh, the the moms all go and have their day out at a spa. They get a massage, a facial oh, and everything. Okay. And then at the end of the day, maybe, you know, family dinner, kids are there, everything like that. But Yeah. yeah. I, they I, get on, Mother's little... day, on Mother's Day, I clean house really good all day. Right. And do the laundry, you know, and just stay away. Make so sure on that Father's Day, power. does your wife like wash the car and clean the garage or something? Or does she mow the grass or like, what does she do for you on Father's Day? Okay. Just mute, mute him now. We're going to get in yeah, trouble. Yeah. We're done with that, Mr. <laughs> You're going to get us in trouble. I'm very 25 <laughs> years. I'm coming up on my 25th anniversary. I'd like to make it to it in two months. So I got 29. Yeah, actually, you know what? Um, so we're not talking, we're talking about gadgets. I know, right? Father's Day. <laughs> uh, we're talking about gadgets. And uh, and it's interesting for Father's Day, I used to have, don't laugh, a Pontiac Aztec. I love that car, right? Hmm. And if you guys don't know what it is, please don't go look it up. Um, so the one thing about the Pontiac Aztec is it used to have a cooler as the center console, which was really, really cool. Mine didn't come with it. She got me that for Father's Day one year. Hmm. Probably one of the best gifts for this geek that I ever got in my life. And you know what? If you think about it, it took a lot of thought. And that's really, don't you want whatever it is? And it doesn't really matter what it is. But isn't that, as, as dads, isn't it just you want people to put thought into it rather than just be impulsive? Right? 
I mean, I kind of have a, yeah, I want thought put into it, but I, I honestly, uh, I don't know. Dads are different. I think like a lot of them don't even necessarily care if they get a gift. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I, what do guys do when they need something? They go get buy it. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Okay>. So <laughs> after wives, um, if they can what buy is it, it that a dad needs? Nothing. Cause he's already bought it. That's what I'm trying to get at. So, so, right. uh, you know, I don't know, uh, but I do like my tech gadgets. I'm not, not, you know, so if you want to buy me one, that's cool. Just make sure it's not one I already have. Why don't you roll off of what you got there, Dave? Well, two of the best things that uh, I have, and, and I have a wish uh, for a third thing, and I I know this is going to kind of move us back a little bit, but uh, the grill bot has been really uh, beneficial. I got for a Father's Day, which is really just a little robot kind of thing that has three rolling copper bristle brushes and a rechargeable battery and you hit the button and for 10 minutes it just spins them at random you know so it moves the little bot across the grill and it's scraping everything it does a really good job and, and you set it up for 10 minutes you walk away you come back and now it's clean um, so that's been really good and then wireless headphones in today's world are a big thing uh, we um, very for much the computer? for the computer well, right for the computer and for your mobile, right? So like the headphones I'm wearing right now are Bluetooth and uh, they have a little wireless adapter for the computer too. <clears throat> so they can be com connected to two devices at a time uh, and you can switch between those two devices as far as what you want to use. Um, and it, it just, they, you know, with all these online meetings and webinars and everything else that we've been doing for the last year, it's been a lifesaver, but more importantly, uh, it, it, you know, A, they're comfortable. I can listen to some music. I can do, you know, I, I, I just, I enjoy them. They're light. In most cases, I don't even, I'll tell you, it's crazy. <clears throat> I don't even realize they're on. And, and this whole working remotely thing, we got to have a reboot on this someday because I, I had a client on a meeting the other day. I had my, one of my techs, me and a client in a meeting. And we left that meeting with, we needed to send somebody to their office that day to do something. And I immediately just assumed my tech was going to do it. Problem is, is my tech was working from home that day. And it totally didn't even cross my mind that he wasn't sitting in the office with me when we had this meeting. Like, I mean, I, it, I, I, I kid you not, like I got off of this meeting and 20 minutes later, I panicked because I was like, oh my gosh, nobody's going there because he can't, he's thinking I'm going, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just like, but that's how well this all works. Is all no, so you know, one thing I, I noticed about the headphones you got on and, and share that model with everybody because what I like about the ones you have on is there's no boom mic. Right. I yeah, like it, it Very well, uh, no boom mic and, and you can hear me pretty good, right? I mean, the, really the quality good. of the sound is pretty nice. And then the noise canceling, so vacuuming, babies crying, dogs barking, those kinds of things, not a, an element. And it's the Plantronics, uh, we call them the Voyager 8200 UC is what that is. The UC Unified Communications. Unified probably. Communications. Voyager okay. 8200 made by Plantronics and or and, Poly because Poly is the name of the company. that. And it works with Microsoft Teams? It is a Teams certified piece of equipment, but it works with Zoom and all the other ones as well. It works on my mobile. No, no, no compatibility issues anywhere. But it's got, uh, you know, like when somebody calls me on Teams, I can just tap the side of my headphone. It answers the call. You know, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty nice. I like that one a lot. In the Roomba for the uh, for the grill. Well, that's an awesome. Roomba for the grill. Yep. Roomba for the, what's the room? What's that called again? Grillbot. It's the grillbot. Yep. Grillbot. Grillbot. Yep. Love it. All All right, right, I'd like to nothing? tack on to the headphones thing for a second because I love those headphones. I want a pair of those headphones. But you know, <laughs> when you want to be mobile, <clears throat> to me, nothing beats having like some AirPod Pros. Someone gifted me AirPod Pros a while back and I said I wasn't gonna buy them at the time when they came out. The noise canceling on them is awesome. Every time I'm on a flight, I no longer have these massive Bose headphones that give me a headache after I'm wearing them for a while. Like I have little uh, uh, AirPods in and I hear nothing. Go to sleep, listen to music, whatever it is. I, I think they work phenomenal. The biggest issue with AirPods is losing them. Right. And so at some point I got a tile attached to my AirPods so I don't lose the case. But um, I, they, they work awesome. That was or, one of the best or, gifts somebody gave me, I feel like. Or putting them in the wash on accident because they were in your one was in your pocket. That's not good. Yeah. <laughs> now, see, I'm going to say that that sounds like an excellent gift 
for a father under 40. Hmm. <laughs> under Why 40. do you say under 40? <laughs> well, uh, you can't wear AirPod earbuds with hearing aids. Hmm. That's right? true. And that's so uh, that's where this is, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's Dave telling you a little what, bit about Dave. <laughs> when I was thinking about this, I just, you know, I started thinking about what have people given me that mm -hmm. I really made a lot of use of. Yeah. And, and I liked a lot. And yeah. those by I, far, I think, is one of my favorite gifts that I've gotten. And I use all the time. Like, I was surprised how, how good the noise canceling was. And I've had the the Bose noise canceling headsets before. I still have them, but it's just, they're such a hassle, right? They're so big right. to carry around mobile. So no, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I, I, I think gonna, those earbuds are really great. I do. I'm going to add on top of that, actually. I'm going to stay with the same theme, actually. So uh, <laughs> what the, the thing that I got a problem with is that I can't, these things are too big for, for my, for when I run. Okay. Right. I can't run with those on. Plus people would probably laugh at me more than they already do. You know, the, it, it, the pods, you know, they're not going to stay in my ear. Right. And so I had been looking for a solution at, uh, until now. And, you know, uh, even right now, if, if when I go running, I have over the ear, wired headphones that, you know, that, that, that stick in like a bud, a pod in my ear. Right. And I've had them for a long time. I, in, 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 I know the technology is out there. And so I looked sure enough. Now they have the kind that have hooks on them. And so they're Bluetooth or wireless earbuds that have the over the ear. So it's not like a big thing. It's over the ear. It's a little loop over the ear that hooks onto the ear. And they all, what's really great about that type of thing whether it's a Bose or whether it's Plantronics or whether it's uh, you know, I think that, that, that they even have a Beats actually. Um, they're all waterproof. So when you sweat, okay, they don't get ruined. Um, and because they all hang over your ear, they don't fall off, right? <laughs> now, I'll tell you that if my family got them for me, but I built a nice Amazon list so that they can choose from it. Hint, hint, Nikki that's watching <laughs> You know, so that's mine. That's mine. And, and, you know, I'm like you guys, I won't wear that, but I won't wear those. Right. If I'm, if I'm in the office, you know, I wouldn't wear those in the, if, if in the I wouldn't wear them in the airplane either, Brandon, because I like that silence of something over the ear too. You know, my kids, I, they all have the AirPods. They all love them. They the noise them. canceling on the AirPod pros though, as soon as you turn it on, like to the there's a normal or there's like three levels you can set on the phone. As soon as you set it to max or whatever the standard one is, you really don't hear anything on the I'm airplane okay. anymore. Yeah. So when I'm running, when I'm running, it's also on the bike path. So I want to make sure I hear on yeah. the left, on the left. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so maybe I'll, uh, you know, I'll see about the noise canceling. What if they get me something? I agree with Jim on the headphone piece that the over the year, because I have a pair of those that are, Bluetooth and you can take phone calls and stuff on them also and they're Sony and they work really well but like you said you can run with them because they're over your ear yeah that and, and you know what they actually show pictures of people climbing mountains and stuff like that like I'm going to climb mountains mm -hmm. but you know you, you figure if they're advertising and hopefully they've tested it um, my boys always with the AirPods they, they play basketball and when they're warming up I see these kids AirPods hitting the floor all the time you know but if you're stationary, those are perfect. Love them. So. Hey, I, I started thinking about, because I, I was going to talk about this electric coffee mug, which is kind of cool. But I started thinking, somebody gave me a really good gift that I use daily. So if anybody like, it's not necessarily super techy, but it's a gadget for a dad. So I think it's, it, it works here. Someone gave me a Corvan and a Corvan is a device that it has uh, like kind of a compressed air hookup. I, I don't I don't remember what they call it, but basically it's got a needle at the end and you put it in a wine bottle and you can do single glasses of wine and it keeps the bottle intact for six plus months. So you could have a nice bottle of wine, have one glass whenever you want, mix and match. You don't have to have like open a whole bottle for one person. Um, and it's great. I use it all the time. I mean, I, obviously you, you you need to like wine, but it's phenomenal. I can't that's recommend cool. it enough. That's yeah. that's low. That's kind of low tech, but still tech. You know, I mean, I've been doing that for a long time. Uh, 
I just buy it in the box and you just, <laughs> just uh, you, I put it in the fridge it lasts every bit of three months. Uh, I mean, that's not the same. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I'm just so kidding. David, you got something for us? You were talking about something before we started the show today. Which David? David, David Love. No, oh, uh, I like a fish finder and some of the fish finders out there are pretty neat. Um, I have a hummingbird one and it's 3D and it, I guess it's good. I've never actually went down to the bottom of the lake to look and see if it's actually accurate or not. But uh, you can, you know, mark when you catch a fish so you know to go back there next time. It tracks your whole um, path that you go on. So when you go back to that lake next time, you can see where you went. And hey, re really quick, Elena was asking in chat and I didn't have a way to reply. It's called a Corvan, Elena. Oh, thank you for Elena. You know, we're totally missing your comments. Sorry. Oh, she was so nice. Yeah, sorry about that, Dave. I just That's a good name. I didn't oh. want to lose track. So that 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 huh. that fish finder sounds an awful lot like something that I've wanted to get but never have is a 3D heat uh, you know, like a a scope, right? Like where I can look out in the field and see where the animals are walking across the field at night. That's what I want. Is one of those. Yeah. Thermal so, scope, so wait, thermal imaging I mean, scope. I, I've seen plenty of fish finders, but a 3D fish finder, I've never even heard of that, to be no, honest. No, he wasn't yeah. talking about a 3D. I mean, mine is kind of 3D-ish. You can actually see the plants and stuff, but again, I don't know how accurate it is. And then you can actually tie it into the internet on wireless and upload the current structure of the lakes and stuff. So cool. it'll update them and huh. download them back again. So it's pretty cool. Does it, you know, does it uh, tell you like where other people have found fish? And give you like ways for fishing. Yeah, that's called like Google crowdsourcing, right? Yeah. <laughs> How many people got their Android, Android phone in their pocket? Yeah. For your phone that can do that for sure. Dude, yeah. first off, if I found a good spot, I don't want anybody else to have <laughs> I know. Spot. I know. Are you kidding me? You know, yeah. that would be the biggest flop, ways for fishing, right? Yeah. Oh, all the all the guys show up in one place. Nobody wants to fish with everybody right, else. Right, right. Right. I, 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 and you want to show them how much better you are than them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like when we went somewhere that David, David, right? That was that was a good time. So and I knew how much better I was than you. Save your life. <laughs> I'd I'd catch all the fish right here and put the pin up here, right? You know. <laughs> it's well, so, just for your memory, Jim. So you know, I know I'm I'm one inch down from that spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally funny. I grew you up know, in I Chicago. Got a low tech so I, did, I didn't do a lot of fishing as a kid, but uh, yeah. and, it, but and it, actually, it's a lot of fun now. I go out with my wife all the time. She helps me take the fish off the hook. The next trolling motor I get, they have ones that you can just set the path on it, and it'll stay a certain distance <laughs> away from the edge of the lake. And so it's kind of just goes for you, so you don't have to mess with it anymore. So there's some pretty neat stuff out there for fishing. You know, that again, one more top and David, you're just you're you're there you went. Mr. Group, we oh. can't hear you. There you go. Um, nope. The the drones. We we have drones, you know, that fly around with cameras and stuff. And they got apps on them where you can set up a patrol. So like we live on 20 acres and I can set the drone up, turn it on, and it goes out and flies the perimeter of the property, videos it all, and then comes back. And now I have a status of the property. So if we had a snowstorm or if I want to look at my crops or I want to, you know, whatever, I can send the drone out and have it come back and give me that stuff. So that's pretty cool. Ring will have that next. How much you want to bet? Watch, they will have that next. I got a pretty low tech one, actually. So again, you know, my I only have really one hobby and it's running, right? And it's a horrible, I do it really bad, but I do it, you know? And uh, I used to have a running belt where I'd you know, strap it around me and stuff like that. And you know, when you're running, it gets uncomfortable. I got my phone in it with my, you know, with maybe my key or something like that. I found a pair. Of, I think it's pronounced Padula, right? Shorts. They've literally got a center zipper pocket where you can put your key. You know, I, I just take the remote and put your, my key fob in there and zip it up in the back. It's just a really small pocket. It's on the outside. And then underneath the short they're, they have the uh, the leggings, okay, and I don't mean that as women's leggings, but the athletic leggings and athletic sh underwear, if you will, built into the shorts, kind of like swim trunks, but they're for you know, running. Kind of like biking uh, shorts. Biking shorts, yeah, you go by that, that material, right? And they have a phone pocket in that right underneath the shorts themselves. 
So now I'm like, I got, I don't have to carry anything anymore. It's really great. Low tech, but if you do have a dad that's an athlete, that's something like that's fantastic. That's really made it made a difference in my running. That is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. What was that called? I think it's pronounced Padula. Uh, if you go to Amazon and just go men's running shorts two and one, you'll find it. There's all kinds of different brands. It starts with a P. I some someone introduced. Uh, a similar water bottle to me, but um, Ember has this coffee mug. I mean, I, I have tons of Yetis, right? And Yeti will keep your coffee warm for some time. But this Ember mug, it's got an integration to your cell phone. It's got Bluetooth, all this stuff to where it'll keep it warm at a specific temperature that you can set from your cell phone. And you just charge the coffee mug, I guess, you know, once and I don't know what the battery time is on these things. I thought that was pretty cool. I was thinking like eh, that would be a, a neat gift if somebody gave it to me. I would use. Well, you know what? That kind of beats the uh, beats the what's the one that keeps the keeps things cold and warm. The uh, not Tervis, but uh, what's the metal one? The Yeti. 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 It kind of beats yeah. that in a way because it really is a coffee yeah. cup. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I like that. And it keep, it'll keep it at the perfect temperature. So once you decide like what temperature you like your coffee, you have it in the memory, set it, and boom, it stays there until you finish the cup. And what's the brand on that one? Uh, that one's called Ember. It's about Ember. 100 bucks. Ember. Yeah. Cool. Do you guys yeah, – back on the <clears> – I'm back on the headphones again for a second. Ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> in 1979 – Oh, my gosh. We had a product called – the bone foam. Does anybody no remember that? that is. Well, I'm sure you don't, Brandon, because I don't even think you were born in 1979. <laughs> I didn't have um, one, but I remember hearing about it. You didn't have one? Oh man, oh, uh, the bone phone. Look it up on the internet. It's basically a, it's a, it's a, it, it's like a scarf almost. It's made out of cloth. It's got some foam inside of it, but there's speakers at the end of each. And so it was like a pair of headphones, but you didn't have them on your head. And we used to wear them to school under our shirt. And then we would turn on the music, you know, ever so slightly. It had a built-in radio tuner. Like, <laughs> it, it didn't connect to anything except for the radio. Like, I mean, that yeah. that was yeah. the, you know, but but it was supposedly it would vibrate. And so you would get more sound. I mean, all my friends, we all had them because we thought. Oh, yeah. Spooky, you used you know? the bones and it used your bones to. And it was to the bone it. phone. Right? I remember yeah. that. Yep, yeah. Now I remember that. You know, hey, let's end on let's let's get out of here. Let's end. Nineteen seventy nine, good year. <laughs> gas crisis, the gas lines. Yeah, that was great. Anyway, eighteen uh, percent interest in homes, great year. So savings and loan, come on. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, though, let's end on this last one. Uh, David Gruber, I think you brought this up, and the reason that you didn't necessarily want one was because you had gotten rid of a whole bunch of stuff. You want to mention that one? You said you, uh, yeah, your LPs. Oh yeah, so the 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 record player. I mean, I, you know, if I still had my vinyl collection, I'd be all over one of those. Um, yeah. I, just because it is fun to go back to the nostalgic way of doing it, and there is, if you're an audiophile, then there is a difference, right? Yeah. They they say that the vinyl is just you can't uh, you can't get that same reproduction out of a digital, uh, you know, CD or any of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not that good at that, so I can't discern the difference, right? But but there are people who swear by it. Uh, here's it the, here's, you yeah, need I think time I, and space for that, you know, though. Yeah. Like, it's a whole process. Brandon, that's the way the world used to be. Like, right. I'm, I'm sorry, this immediate satisfaction thing that we see in the last 15, 20 years, I mean, I'm that, like, that is so unrealistic and not sustainable in all of us are up for a really big disappointment someday because we're all thinking we should get everything we want right now. And no, and, and I'm sorry, there's something like, I'm sorry, as a young man joining the Columbia House Record Club for a penny and getting 13 records mailed to you. And then every month you got to choose from a catalog of what was coming out new. I mean, guys, am I wrong? No. Like, I, I, that was I, so awesome. For free. I, you, you, they give you the 30 albums and then you just never do anything else. And then two years later, you sign back up and get 30 more. Like, I mean, it, I'm telling you, uh, no, I, signed, like, I was on it. Uh, there was, well, just, you know, that was the way that we did it. And that was part of the challenge, right? That was why you became the cult because 
right. man, this didn't come easy. This was something that you held in high regard. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, there you I'm go, taking boys. over. Look at that, Elena, to... <laughs> right there. She totally agrees with yep. that. You know, and and talk. Of, I I think that's an awesome finish on that one, and here's why, David. I know you said you don't have your LPs. You know what? That's the gift that you can keep yeah. on building, collecting. And let me tell you something. My son got me one for Christmas or my birthday. Can't remember. He was totally into it. Sure. Now my kids are buying me LPs, and they feel very rewarded. Like they got me something that matters to that's, me. And, Isn't and that what you want? I think that's what this whole show right here is supposed oh. to encapsulate, right? Like, yeah. like we started this out with how many dads really care and they get what they need and they don't need another tie. And, and But it's, it's that. It's that knowing you enough to know what it is that's going to just blow your put, mind. Put right? some thought and, into right. it. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and yeah. It, it's not about cost. It's not about value. It's about yeah. appreciation. That's right, 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 right. I will, I will just mention one last thing. I know we're getting off, but about the appreciation and putting some thought into it. One of my favorite birthday gifts was a T-shirt somebody bought me. It was yeah. probably a 10 or $15 <laughs> T-shirt, but it was something that they knew me. They knew stuff I liked, and, you know, it was it like a home. joke type of thing. But, it, yeah, exactly. It, it right. was perfect. So last year, not this past year, 2020, but 2019. And I'm going to put, put something up on the screen, by the way, for Elena that she put on earlier that you guys are going to love. Okay. My wife bought me a yellow submarine Beatles t-shirt, stupid little iron on. Okay. I literally broke down in tears because mm -hmm. she knew how much I like to be. I love the Beatles. Right. She knows I, I like to get cool rock shirts, t-shirts. Right. And, and the fact that she put that thought into it and searched and she knew when she got that, he's going to freaking love this. It wasn't a, like, oh, you know, I'll get this for him. He's going to freaking love this. I cried. I literally cried. And, and you would have cried if she bought it at a yard sale for a dollar or if she got it online for 40. Didn't matter. Doesn't right? matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right. So Elena put this up there. We started the show kind of talking about Mother's Day. <laughs> Guys, this is what Elena said about Mother's Day. <laughs> Yeah, I thought about that as we were saying. <laughs> yeah, Maybe earlier on, mm -hmm. you want that me day, but then it's no longer, you know, you don't get to spend as much time with the kids. It becomes, I want to see them. So, well, right. listen, guys, I, I hope this is great for everybody that was watching. Elena, thanks for your comments. They were wonderful. Uh, guys, great, great topic, great ideas. I really think we nailed it, you know, and if we don't get great holiday <laughs> gifts, you know, this year for this one, I don't think we ever will. So, and I think we should just cancel Father's Day. Cancel right? it. Right? Just over. Give it, just give it up. Just skip right over, right on 4th of July. That's right. Well, guys, this is the reboot. And again, we're on every other Thursday at 1.30 Eastern time. Wednesday. Wednesday. Is today Wednesday? Yeah. yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, that's right. That's our other meeting, right? Yeah. That's Thank you. One. Guys, I messed it up. We're, we're here every other Wednesday at 1.30 Eastern time. Uh, hope you can join the show. Thanks a lot. Take care, everyone. Bye. All everyone. right. See you later. See you guys. <laughs> Bye. So, uh, <laughs> looks like Elena's getting her husband husband a, a, a grill bot. <laughs> Go get him, Elena. Gave her so a good well. idea.